Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Omar again. It's a fairly common device in video games to have a number of lives that you can lose, and it's traditionally three, although you can have any number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step you through setting this up. Now this has actually got a few steps to it, so um, this is going to be a longer video. So we're going to, we need to attach all of this to an action. So I'm going to attach it to the cat, oh, sorry, to an object. I'm going to attach it to the cat object because I know that it's in the level. So like all things, this is object-oriented programming, so it has to be attached to an object. So I'm starting with a cat, and the first thing I'm saying is add event other game start. So when the game starts, this is going to happen. So what's going to happen is going down to the score tab, I'm going to set the number of lives to nine. So the cat's going to have nine lives, and I'm not going to set it relative. That's the actual number nine, so you start with nine. Now, I want that to appear on the screen. So what I do is I add event, and this is a strange event, this one called draw. And I'm going to draw the number of lives. The X and Y talks about how far it is out from the corner. And you need to set a sprite for what each of those lives will look like. So each life is going to look like a cat. And I'm going to click on OK. Relative would mean that it sat real, the score sat out from where the object was. So I'm just going to have it tucked away in the top corner. So when I run that, it's going to show me that I've got nine lives. So I'm going to run that and we'll have a quick look. OK, so as you can see, we have starting up here our nine lives going across the screen. But so far they won't do anything. So I'm just going to quit out of that. So now I'm going to have a mechanism for losing a life. So now I'm going to say when this enter key is pressed. Now, you'd probably have this on a collision or on some sort of bad thing that you'd lose a life. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just setting it to a button press. So when the user presses the button, it sets the lives, but this time it's relative. So it means in relation to the existing score. And I'm going to make it minus one. So every time I press that, we'll have minus one. Now that doesn't really mean anything if nothing happens when I run out of lives. So I need to set another event in other, which is when there are no more lives, then I'm going to, and I think it's down in main two, I am going to close the game. So end game. So let's run this. Okay, so there's my nine lives. I press the enter button and you'll notice that I'm losing lives. You could also have another event that actually gave you a relative plus a life. So you did something good, you'd get an extra life back. You can also have this number as just text in the top of the screen. It doesn't have to be icons, although I do quite like little icons. These ones are too big, but, um, but you could certainly have icons. So there you go, I'm losing lives as that event happens, and then I lose my last life, and the game is over. So there you go, that's how you use lives.